Hello and welcome. This is the first and introductionary video of my Name for Beginners tutorial series in which I will teach you how to write your own programs in a programming language. First off, what is programming? And what is a programming language? Programming is to communicate with a computer by writing code in a programming language, that then gets compiled, translated by a compiler into machine code, a binary system of ones and zeros that a computer can understand. A programming language is just like a natural language. English, in this case, which I'm using to communicate with you. It has its own rules how to form words from letters and from words, sentences, and from those meaning, etc. A programming language is just that, a set of rules and commands, which in different contexts has different meaning. In computing jargon, a syntax, with which we write our programs. Each programming language has its own syntax, strengths, and weaknesses. NIM differentiates from other programming languages by combining speed, portability, and elegance. Its speed allows for writing of operating systems like the one you're using right now, as well as games and game engines to which speed is critical. Its portability allows for writing of code on any of the major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, while being able to produce code that runs on any of them, as well as the web. And lastly, NIM is elegant, which means that its syntax is very much like writing English words, making it very easy to learn, write, and read. NIM also has a plethora of other powerful features, like multiple optional garbage collectors, yet another feature good for games, as well as metaprogramming, etc., of which I will not go into detail here. You can read more in depth about NIM through the links in the description. Now let's look at NIM's simplest program and how it works. Echo Hello World. That is a standard Hello World program used by every programming language to showcase one syntax. Very short and simple. The echo command is used for outputting strings text that we write on computers. The second part, hello world, is echo command's argument parameter, what we want to display onto the console. The console being the default way of outputting information and making non-graphical programs. That's all it takes for the simplest programming name, a command and its argument value. If you like what you have seen so far, let's move on towards setting up NIM on your computer and start programming. Open up your favorite browser and go to nimlang.org. Click download, select your operating system, Windows in my case. If you have a 32-bit operating system, click the top button. Otherwise, if you have a 64-bit or you're unsure what you have, click the second one. Then go to your start menu, open up your downloads folder like here or by the file explorer by clicking here on the left, downloads. Click on the zip file, extract it here, then copy it. So we will put it on the desktop, paste it, wait for it to finish, it may take a while. Open NIMS folder, click on finish.exe, open it. Now we will install NIM to your system, press Y and enter and again y and enter now it's going to download min gv compiler which compiles the c code that nim generates nim actually generates c programming languages code and then from there to machine code instead of going directly okay i'll press y again okay Let's go to start menu, type notepad, open it. Now let's write our program, echo, hello world. <clears throat> this will be our program. Now let's click on file, save as, select where you want it. I'm gonna put it on the desktop. I will save it as hello world.nim. Save as, type all files here. Save. Close this. Now let's find NIM in the start menu. Scroll down. Here it is. Open. Now it opens NIM's console. Now let's get our program's uh, path. We need this. Properties. Copy the location. Now we need to tell the console where we will be executing our program compiling so type cd this means change directory cd 
desktop in my case. It worked, no errors, which means it works. Now type nim with an uppercase here. C R and your program's name. Hello world and enter. Now it will compile your program and run it. Here it is. This is the output. Hello world. Okay, now let's get a proper tool for writing our code. Notepad is just the most basic of the tools to write. So let's get a proper one. Type usual studio code. Click on the first one. Now click here on this button, select your operating system. I will be picking Windows X64 because I have Windows 64 bit edition and stable. Now this downloads. Go to your downloads folder again and run it. <clears throat> now accept this agreement where you want it installed. For the start menu, just go ahead. I will create a desktop icon, install. It will take a few seconds now. Okay, now click finish. Okay. Visual Studio Code has opened. Now click here on the last icon, extensions, type nim, this one, and install. When it says uninstall here, it means it's installed. Now click on file, open file, find your program, in my case desktop, hello world.nim, and open. Now we got our program open in Visual Studio Code, an actual code editor. Now Go ahead and press F6. Now this will compile and run it. And here it is your first program, Hello World. That's it. You now have all the tools you need to start writing your own programs in it. In the next video, I will teach you about variables. If you have any questions or problems with any parts of the video, let me know in the comment section. Have fun and I'll see you next time.